Chapter 10, Donovan's Delight. Back so soon, Grandma asked, opening the door. I thought you had gone home. I forgot to invite you to dinner tonight. Dad is going to cook. Do you want to come around, Donovan asked. It didn't take Grandma long to make up her mind. She loved Donovan's father's cooking. Well, I certainly do. In fact, why don't I just get my coat and walk with you, Grandma suggested. Maybe we could talk about your word jar a little bit more, she said. Donovan waited while Grandma got her coat and locked up her apartment door. She was carrying a big brown paper sack, and he wondered what was in it. As they walked down the hall, Donovan began to tell Grandma about how he had helped Ms. Mary Lou and Mr. Bill Gutt. When Grandma and Donovan got to the lounge, Donovan could not believe what he saw. Grandma's neighbors were up and around laughing and talking. They all seemed excited. He looked around to see what was going on. Donovan saw that they were waving little yellow slips of paper in their hands. My words! They have my words! Donovan shouted. Some people had one slip of paper in their hands, others had two. Mr. Avery was no longer slumped in front of the TV. He was tacking one of Donovan's words up on the bulletin board. Ms. Millie was looking up at the word on her slip of paper in a pocket dictionary. Donovan looked over at the desk and saw Mrs. Agnes digging into his word jar. There were people in line behind her laughing and talking. They were waiting to get a word from his jar. What's going on? Donovan asked as loud as he could. Grandma, stop them. They are taking my words. He turned to his grandma, but she looked just as surprised as he felt. Donnie, calm down. They didn't know you left the jar on the desk, she said in a quiet voice. I'm going to get my word jar, Donovan said firmly. Excuse me, he shouted. Excuse me. May I get past? He yelled, moving through the crowd. He pushed a little. He even shoved a bit. It was no use. Donovan couldn't stop what was happening. Mr. Crawford, the mailman, passed Donovan and waved his word over his head. Perseverance, he called out. That's just the word I need. Some days I get so tired I can hardly make it. I'm going to try it just a little harder to keep going, he said, tucking the word into his shirt pocket. Donovan stopped pushing and stood still. Wow, one of my words made Mr. Crawford feel better, Donovan said. He looked around and saw Miss Millie talking to Mr. Foote. Donovan was surprised. Boisterous. He heard Miss Millie say in her soft voice, Grandma always told Donovan that Miss Millie was so shy that she hardly ever spoke to anyone. Mr. Foote, on the other hand, spoke to everyone. Well, I'll be darned, Mr. Foote said in surprise. My word is timid. Perhaps we should exchange words, Miss Millie suggested. Oh, no, maybe I need to quiet down some. Sometimes I'm a bit loud, Mr. Foote said softly. You're right. I think I'll keep my word, too. I'm going to start speaking to people more. I'm going to change my ways. Miss Millie's voice sounded like she meant it. Did my words do that? Make them want to change? Donovan asked himself in surprise. All around him, Grandma's neighbors were laughing and talking to each other. They had never acted so lively before. Nikki was right. Words can make people feel better, Donovan said quietly. Donovan, Miss Mary Lou called out as she walked over and stood next to him. Your words are wonderful. I just couldn't help myself. After you gave Bill and me a word, I... I, well, I got carried away. I just gave Mr. Kincaid the word leisure. That man works entirely too hard, she said, smiling. And Donovan, people just started coming up and asking for words. And if they didn't get the one they wanted, they just traded it. She looked so pleased it was hard for Donovan not to smile. Mr. Bill Gutt came over and pinched Donovan's cheeks. Mr. Perkins patted his shoulders. Everyone wanted to thank him for sharing his words. Donovan felt as if the sun had come out inside him. Mr. Bill Gutt pointed to the empty jar on the desk and said, Looks like we cleaned you out, young fella. When Grandma pushed through the crowd, she looked worried. Donnie, are all of your words gone? She asked. Honey, I'm so sorry. I know you didn't want to give your words away. Maybe you could ask for them back, she said. Donovan looked up at her and smiled. Grandma, they love my words. The words make them talk to each other. Look, he said, pointing to Mr. Foote and Miss Millie. They're talking to each other. Donovan was so excited. And Grandma, Mr. Crawford, the mailman, doesn't look so tired anymore. Grandma looked around the room and smiled. Donnie, you know Mr. Mike got the word chortle, and I actually heard him giggle, she said, laughing. But, Donnie, they didn't give you anything for your words. Grandma was still worried. Yes, they did. They made me feel like a magician. My words changed them. The sunshine Donovan felt inside was shining all over his face. 
Grandma set the large paper sack she had been carrying on the desk and pulled out a large glass jar from it. Donovan? Stop smiling and caught his breath. Grandpop's humidor, he exclaimed. No one had been allowed to touch the cigar jar when Grandpop had been alive. No one except Donovan and Grandpop himself. Donovan would climb up on his Grandpop's lap and lean over and pull out a long cigar from the jar, and then very carefully Donovan would put the wooden lid back Grandma on. Grandma wrote on a slip of paper, remove the wooden lid from the jar, and drop the paper in. This is for you, word gatherer, Grandma said, her voice full of pride. Donovan took the slip of paper from the jar. On one side it said a happy accident. On, on the other side, the word serendipity was written. Donovan looked around. Everyone was watching his grandma and him. He hugged grandma until it hurt. He would be proud to put his word collection in his grandpop's jar. Donovan was going to have a wonderful time collecting new words. It would take hours, days, weeks, and maybe even months. But the next time his jar filled up, he would not have a problem. It would be fun finding new ways to give his words away.